hello students in this video we will be discussing objective 2 of current electricity from HC Verma so in the first question it is specified that electrons are emitted by this hot element filament then uh, it, they are accelerated with the help of this field as the field is towards uh, left the electrons will be accelerated towards right and the current is opposite to the direction of flow of electrons so it will be towards left as it is also specified that the beam has a uniform cross section so we can say all the ejected electrons all the electrons which are ejected from filament will reach a as well as b so the number of electrons passing per unit time through a and through b will be same and as the area is same so current density will also be same at both b as well as a so we can say that the magnitude of current is same and the current density is also same at these points so in the next question we can have a look at the explanation also negative charges are accelerated opposite to field current is toward left and uh, which is uh, ia will be equal to ib as the number of electrons passing through so uh, cross section a and b are same in a given time interval as the uh, cross sections are also uniform so j will be equal to jb and then the next question it is being asked that a capacitor has no dielectric and it is connected through a battery at t equal to zero and there are two points point a is on the wire and point b is uh, in between the plates so this is the diagram point b is here and point a is at somewhere on the wire so no actual current will pass through b as there's no charges which are flowing through b but the charges are flowing through the wire so actual current will be there through point a but not through point b and this actual current will also stop when the capacitor will get fully charged so initially there will be current through a and it will become zero when it is get fully charged there is no current there is no actual or conventional current through b there is a current through b which is called displacement current which we'll discuss uh, in the next chapters the next question it is being asked that that if no current passes through the conductor the free electrons do not move yes they move so the statement is wrong and the next statement uh, it is saying that uh, the average speed of the electrons over large period of time is zero no average speed can't be zero if something is moving average velocity yes it can be zero and average velocity of all the free electrons at an instant we can assume that there are huge number of electrons some will be moving towards right at the same instant some will be moving towards left some will be moving towards uh, up direction another will be moving in the downward direction so these two average velocity of a free electron over a large interval of time it will return back to its initial position after a few collisions so it will be zero and d option d will also be correct so c and d are the only two correct option in this and the fourth question it is asked that uh, which of the following quantities will not change when resistance is heated when current pass through it so again resistance will change according to this relation we already know that r is equal to r naught 1 plus alpha t resistivity is also changing because it depends on the same relation and vd as vd depends on r drift velocity depends on the current and current depends on resistance so it will also change but n number of free charges it's a material dependent quantity uh, it will not change when the resistance is heated and the next question uh, the temperature is increased to a conductor and uh, we have to find whether its resistivity and conductivity are changing what about the ratio how the ratio of resistivity to conductivity changes so 
as in the previous example also in objective one it is specified that these two are inverse of each other so the ratio of rho by sigma will be rho square as sigma is nothing but one by rho so as the temperature increases rho increases so this ratio which is rho square will also increase in the next part a current passes through a wire of non-uniform cross section which of the following quantities are independent of the cross sections so in this example i have drawn a figure in which there are two points the cross section at one is smaller as compared to two and uh, i1 i2 is the current at these cross section they will be equal because uh, if they will not be equal where the charge will go if n number of electrons are entering through this cross section they must have to leave through this cross section otherwise there will be accumulation of charge or there will be deficiency of charges in between them so it's not possible so equal number of charges will enter and leave in the same time interval so i1 will be equal to i2 n1 and rho this is number of charges free charges per unit volume and this is resistivity they both are material dependent quantity so they will be same no matter the cross section is different or not and j1 j1 is i per unit area so when if the current are same and area is smaller j1 will be large similarly drift velocity drift velocity depends on area it's inversely proportional to the area i equal to vd is equal to i by nea i is same and is same so if a is small vd will be large the electron has to move with the larger speed to cross this cross section in the same time interval so in the next question we have to mark out the correct statement one is emitter should have a small resistance obviously it's right emitter should have large resistance it is wrong and the next statements are a voltmeter should have a small resistance no it's wrong a voltmeter should have a large resistance obviously it is right uh, in the next question a capacitor of capacitance 500 microfarad is connected across this ohm and uh, being charged with the help of a battery uh, there is some charge which is stored in the first five seconds and we have to find then the charge stored in the next five seconds the charge stored in the first five second is larger than the charge stored in the 550 or these you have to find that which of the following options are correct so in this question number eight if we calculate the time constant of this capacitor it is r which is 10 kilo ohm which is 10 to the power 4 and 500 microfarad which is 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 will come out to be five seconds so as per the definition of time constant the capacitor will get 63 percent of its steady state charge in the first five seconds and the remaining 37 will be uh, charged by uh, it will take infinite time to get charged by the remaining 37 percent so in the first five seconds it's getting 63 percent and the remaining infinite time it is getting only 37 percent so in the first five second it is getting more charge in comparison to the next five next 15 next 500 next 5000 or next 5 million seconds also so in the last this exercise uh, there's a question uh, there are two capacitors one microfarad and two microfarads they are separately charged by a common battery and connected uh, across equal resistances so that they discharge they are connected at t equal to zero we have to verify whether the current in each of the two discharging circuit will be zero at t equal to zero no it will not be because the, uh, the capacitor will be discharged so initially the current will be maximum as the voltage across the capacitor is also maximum so uh, the second option says the current in the two discharging circuits at t equal to zero are equal but not zero so this is again wrong because in the next we can say that current is nothing but at t equal to the current is the potential across the capacitor divided by the resistance the potential across the capacitor 
<coughs> the potential across the capacitors as they are charged with the equal batteries will be same so the current initial current in the two will be same but uh, as time constant which specify also specify the rate at which one lo loses its charge uh, time constant is more for capacitor 2 and the solution uh, there's a mistake I did that IC2 IC1 will be simply E by R not C1 okay similarly IC2 will be E by R not C2 C2 is extra here so these two should be equal uh, there's a mistake at this point these two should be equal and uh, the next part says tau c2 which is rc2 is greater than rc1 as c2 is greater than c1 so capacitor c2 will loses its 50 percent charge later in comparison to c1 c1 will lose its charge faster as compared to c2 because time constant of c1 is less than c2 thank you